All right, who wants a barn update? Let's go check it out. We've been putting up walls, a lot of OSB, I think drywall. I'll show you what we got going on. Looks very different. What's going on here? It's gonna be Is it time? Christmas! Is it time for this? Are you sure it's time for this? I don't think we're supposed to put a tree up till December 15th. No, then you only have 10 days to enjoy it. Hmm. We are going to enjoy it now. Do we take right it now. do we take it down on the 26th? No. No. Those have been up all year. <laughs> That's true. They made it a whole year. That's true. We're well, gonna take them down for sure this year. No. I mean, at the end of Christmas. This will be Mabby's first Christmas where he will actually have access to the tree. So we've got to put the ornaments up like we have to do <laughs> every true. year for little ones. That's true. So we go uh, artificial. Same one we've used many years. Yeah. It's just easier. The lights are already on it. There's not little Christmas tree, what are they called, pines that fall down. However, I do love the smell of a real tree. Well, we get a real tree at the, at the ranch. Yeah, we'll do real treat the roof. You are just decked out, aren't you? Yes, I've been wearing this all November. Mm -hmm. Is this the, is it, wait, is this the, is this the first one? First one? That's what you picked. That's what you picked? Wow, that's, that's so special. <laughs> that's a special Let's one. Let's do this one. Oh, that's a special one. <laughs> okay. Merry Christmas. Oh, what does that say? First ornament. This is not going so well. Jesus. I got Jesus. Baby Jesus. Ah. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I want everyone to remember the hot days when we had no rain for like three months and we were in a total drought and it was over a hundred. Now it's raining and it's cool. It's like 45 degrees. It's amazing. Who was the first guest on Granger's podcast? Episode number 11. Wow. No idea. London Lincoln. Seriously? Hey everybody, we are okay. live. This is a special live because, <laughs> because evidently London's taking it over. And uh, Ian's here and he's filming for the Smiths. Lincoln is babysitting Maddie who's running all over the place. And there's triangle butterflies in the corner of our screen for some reason. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Sorry, it's, a little it's always a little chaotic about this time because it's dinner time. We've got kids running around. So let's give some shout outs here. Katie Brown, Hayden. We've been on now for a few minutes. Let's get to our first question. Wait, wait, wait. can we do it from that paper? Yes, you want to do from from yeah, that can paper? Yeah, can I ask it? Anyone? Well, so, we okay. got to get something. We're going to give away first. Grab something here. Here, we'll do mommy's. We'll do mommy's hat. All right. All right. This is a nice leopard yee yee hat. So these straight from Amber's closet. Some of these are some questions that Jan gave us. Thank you, Jan. So Lincoln's going to pick one. Wait, but Jan, that, if we're reading off Jan's list, she's disqualified from this question. Right. So then, Jan, you'll be requalified for my my own questions. Go for it, Lincoln. First question for the leopard hack starts now. Which side of Earl's overalls is left unhooked? Question is, which side of Earl's overalls is left unhooked? First 
right answer gets the leopard hat from Amber's closet. <gasps> oh! And here comes the answers. Anna. Anna. Anna, oh, Anna yes. has the right one. Yeah. So Anna, you get it. Let's catch up a little bit before our next question. Let's catch up. We have touring. We only have one more tour date, and that is in um, basically southern Cincinnati on December 2nd. That's in Newport, Kentucky. And that's it for 2022. Are you gonna see Jamal or Chase? No, I'm not gonna see any Cincinnati Bengals um, mm. on that trip. But I will say that that's the last tour date for 2022. And and we're not really sure when we're going to crank up for 2023 yet besides a couple maybe a minnesota and a wisconsin date in january and then we'll start kicking in gear probably like march april so come see us in cincinnati but then the exciting news is we have three movie premieres we are going to announce that very soon <laughs> we have chaos going on chaos in my house right now Lennon's spilling milk, Maverick's throwing his food all over the floor. Yeah. This is parent life, guys. So we have three movie premieres, Nashville, Dallas, and Austin. I will be announcing those soon. But what that is, is you get to come into the theater and watch the movie with all of us. You're gonna go- We're gonna do a red carpet and we're gonna get to meet everybody. You're going to Wisconsin. The movie comes out December 15th. What's up, everybody? I wanted to share something with you guys that I got to do this past week. So I know a lot of you have been here since the beginning and you have followed our entire journey. About a year ago, I had sent a letter to the Texas Organ Sharing Alliance and it was to meet the recipient of Rivers Organ. So in order for you to do that, in order for both families to be able to have contact, both parties have to agree. So everything in the beginning is very confidential. All I knew after um, River had his operation was that he had saved two lives. He had saved a 49-year-old woman and a 53-year-old man. And I was so surprised when I found out that his organs went to adults because I thought he's so little, I thought for sure we would help to save a child's life, but it ended up being two adults. I mailed a letter to the organization and then I got a card back from the recipient and then we both had to agree to give each other our contact info. So this has been about three years in the making. And we finally got each other's contact info. I had been texting with the recipient of River's right kidney. She lives here in Austin. She's Spanish speaking. She is, I believe, 52 now. Um, so we got to meet up this week. We met for coffee and a smoothie. And I did not think I was gonna get emotional. It was so, it was really neat to meet her. She looked beautiful and happy and healthy. And she brought her sister-in-law, her sister-in-law brought her, and we just, I didn't film any of this because it was a kind of a private moment, but I do have a photo. I'll have Paul put it right here. So this is Miss Elda, and she is the recipient of River's right kidney, and she is 4'11", so she's pretty short. So that's why they said his kidney would be perfect for her, a little child's kidney. So she told me all about her life, and she was on dialysis every single day for three years for eight to 10 hours a day kidney dialysis. She didn't know when she was going to possibly um, be able to have her operation. And she said that they were just as surprised as we were when they got the call and they found out that it was going to come from a child. So um, as we were leaving, I gave her the Where the Dinosaurs Roar book and she smiled really big and she said that she's always loved dinosaurs. She said she loves Jurassic Park and her and her kids would watch the Land Before Time and she loved Littlefoot. So it was just this, this really neat connection and, and Elda held Maverick and it was this weird closeness, you know, of a little piece of River being so close to his brother. Um, it was just really, I don't have words. I don't have words. It was, um, it was nice and it was beautiful and she's healthy and I've been praying for her. So we hope to stay in contact with each other. She's so sweet. Um, next, she wants to meet our family and um, if you guys could just continue to pray for her. The operation went great, um, but she is starting to have high blood pressure and things like that, which can happen from a surgery like that, um, an organ transplant. So just continue to pray for her that she stays healthy and happy and prolongs you know, her, her life. And I, I'm still hoping to meet the man who received his left kidney. I'm gonna send another letter out. I didn't hear back the first time, that's okay. Some people don't, don't wanna have um, don't want to meet and that's okay. I will continue to pray for him too, but it was such 
such a blessing to be able to meet her and to hug her and just to hear all about her life. And then I got to tell her all about River. So organ donation, I'm, I'm passionate about it. I don't know why. I've always wanted to be an organ donor since I was little. Um, it's super easy to do. You can go to organdonor.gov and sign up. There's also ways to be a living donor. You can donate blood. You can, don you can donate all kinds of things. So you can give somebody else the chance at life if you should ever have to make the decision that we had to make. So it just takes a minute. Go to organdonor.gov. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so just continue to pray for her. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because you guys have been following along on this journey. So pray for Elda. And um, that's all I got. What's up, everybody? Today we get to do something pretty fun. We're teaming up with the Colt Catalina Foundation again for the third year and we are dropping off toys at Dell Children's Hospital for and their- we have $3,000 to do it! For their holiday village. So a lot of you have donated to the River Kelly Fund. We are taking a small portion of that and we are using that to go buy toys at Target for- Hold it. Hi. Hi. To go buy toys for the children that have to spend Christmas in the hospital. Oh, stinky. So their families can go purchase toys. Is he stinky? Yeah, he's stinky. This is mom life, guys. I've got kids that don't let me speak or finish a sentence. I've got a poopy diaper. I've got a daughter who's changing right behind the camera that you can't see. So anyway, we're gonna go with Madison from the Colt Catalina Foundation, the River Kelly Fund, our friends Heidi and Prosper, and we're gonna go pick out toys for these kiddos. I just lost a tooth. And he just lost a tooth because he busted his face on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> Show him. Yeah. My pants are really wet. Okay, well that's gonna be cold. All right, here we go. What do you think, Mavi? So we're here at Target and we're getting things for Dell Children's Hospital. The kids are super excited about getting all of these toys. Filling up the carts. Look at this. And look at this. And we still have five hundred dollars ha left. We bought over. this from Target. It's and awesome. We still have five hundred dollars left over, so we're gonna come back and get more toys. With Prosper. Was that so fun, y'all? Yeah. It's so we're fun now. to give, isn't it? Yeah. So fun. We've got lots of stuff for all the kids. So Madison went back inside. I forgot a bag, but I'm gonna introduce you guys to Miss Madison. Y'all actually met her last year when we dropped off the toys. We filmed that too. <laughs> So this is Miss Madison. You guys met her a couple years, right? We've done this three years together? Yes. Yes. Oh, I can't believe that. So she does the Colt Catalina Foundation, and she so graciously asked us to partner and help bring toys to the children in honor of Colt and River and Cade, and we add children all the time. So thank you guys for donating to both foundations, River Kelly Fund and the Colt Catalina Foundation, because it helps us to be able to give back. So thank you guys so much. We are going part for two. second part of our shopping for Dell Children's Holiday Village. Today we're bringing our friends Prosper and Heidi with us and still teaming up with the Colt Catalina Foundation. We got a ton of toys last time, but we still had $500 left over. And our little buddy Prosper wanted to go get some more toys. So we're gonna go today, grab the rest of the toys, and then possibly go take all the toys to Dell today. So it's super exciting. I love doing this. I love, the kids had so much fun last time, didn't y'all? shopping and it's gonna be fun to take them with us to, to drop off the toys. Money. And he has his own money too. Here we go. Ready? Yes. Let's go shopping. Oh, you alright? Did, did you lose splits. your shoe? You okay? I did the split. So excited we're doing the split. Did you get that on camera? I don't yeah. think so. We did it again. Yep. Did it again. Yeah. Woohoo! What's up, friends? What an awesome Thanksgiving weekend we had. I hope you guys had a great one too. I went to the ranch, went out to mom's ranch, and it was just beautiful weather. And when I say beautiful, it was raining and foggy the whole time. And that's really good because the ranch has been so dry and ponds have been so low and the cows have been just needing something to eat. So anytime we can get rain, it's awesome. In fact, we got two inches. Love it like that. Love it when it's foggy. Love it when it's rainy. I droned some of it right here.
so we got a lot of hunting in mainly just for fun maybe looking for meat tyler and i went hunting this is low fence free range deer tyler had seen a buck that he wanted to get with a bow the buck comes out i was sitting with him we were in a portable blind the buck comes out it's like wow there it is that's the one i've been looking at so he gets all nervous maybe because i'm sitting with him he gets his bow already and misses he missed on shot underneath it if he was here he would tell you because he was shooting through a cattle panel eh, which he shouldn't have done but he would say he nicked it i was sitting right there watching it and i don't think he did so here's the crazy thing the buck comes back right and like an hour later it comes back he gets all nervous again he pulls out his bow this time i'm filming and he drops his iPhone. It's, it was sitting on his portable chair next to him. It drops, hits the ground. So the first time you hear the buck skit and run, it's because it heard the phone, the iPhone fall. So then it gives him, stops and gives him one more look and he hits the top of the blind uh, with his hand. That's the second time you see the buck run. I got that video here on my phone. So anyway, we had a great time just being able to be together with the family and Lincoln went hunting, London, London went hunting, nobody got anything, but we enjoyed a nice rainy ranch. And now I'm here back home. Mav's waking up from a nap, Amber's running errands. And I wanted to show you the garden over here. The guys are actually in here hanging drywall, but I wanted to show you the garden because Lincoln and I worked in here yesterday and we got these beds pretty full which is awesome. I want to do one more layer on here of some some of my compost over here and uh, some of my my worm beds that I have made with my worm farm. And then I'm going to cover this with with some kind of mulch and let it sit for a couple months till I'm ready to start planting for early spring. And so, yeah, this is looking great and but I am growing right now. I am growing. It's not completely barren here in Texas. I'm growing, and I'll show you what I'm growing in the greenhouse. If you've kept up with the Smiths, you know I do this every year. Got a lot of things growing in here. So, this time of year, what we get is oak trees, acorns. So, See these acorns. And that is a live oak tree sprouting out of the acorn. And so I'll put it just like that. And I've got them growing everywhere. I've got them growing here separately. I've got them growing here together, which whatever ones come up and look best, I'll cut the other ones down. I've got them growing in these flower pots. I've got them growing in this pot. I've got them growing in my olive tree pot. I've literally got them everywhere and Lincoln and I also we took probably 50 of them literally let yesterday Lincoln calls them sprouties we found about 50 sprouties and we went out here to that fence line right over there and we just we went and just dropped them all the way down the fence line will any of them make it I don't know because as soon as they, those oak trees sprout they are great food for squirrel and deer and raccoons. So they, everybody loves to munch on baby oak trees. But who knows, because I put them right along the fence line. Who knows if some of them make it, that would be amazing. And we'll keep up with it on this channel. Let me know if you think any of them are gonna make it. This is the tree, this is the mama tree that I harvested from. See, you could take these acorns and you could drop them in water and the ones that sink, are potentially good you throw away the ones that float and then you could put them in a ziploc bag with some like a moist paper towel and some peat moss or some kind of growing soil and you just lightly you could put it in the refrigerator and it activates certain types of oaks will activate in 30 days 40 days 50 days 60 days and start sprouting you could do that i've done that before and it's it's really fun or you could just wait till this time of year when it's the cold actual cold is activating them 
and I just sit here and look on the ground for the sprouties. So this is what Lincoln and I did a long time yesterday. So here's one right here, like you literally just go to it and this one is already kind of in the ground and there it is. See, if, see, like, look at that one right there. It's already, it's already finding its home in the ground. So without breaking it, I just slowly bring it up. Like, they're every, literally everywhere. So that one's brand new. That one just sprouted. So, I don't know. I mean, I look at these and I'm like, these are potential trees. Think about this. Think about this tree started with an acorn. Like Lincoln, I was, we were talking about this yesterday. He's just blown away by the fact that a giant oak tree starts like this. But the thing is, I like to get them because they're just wasted. They're completely wasted. Besides wildlife eating them on the ground like this, well, this is our yard. We're gonna, we're gonna mow it. Like this is where we mow. So any tree that grows here is gonna get mowed. It's a total waste. So I'm thinking, you know, I'll never get to enjoy a bunch of oak trees, live oaks down that fence line. I'll never, in my lifetime, never enjoy something like that because it would take 40 years for it to be worth it. So uh, I don't think I'm gonna be here in 40 years uh, hanging out enjoying oak trees on this property, God willing. But anyway, that's what I'm thinking about today, sprouties. <laughs> we made that name up, it's not a, that's not a scientific term. So if you've ever done this with your acorns, or if, you're, if, it's, if this is happening on your property right now, about this time of year, let me know. Something else I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do with, these, with the ones that actually grow in the greenhouse? Uh, I'm gonna take them, I'll have a few in pots around here and see if I can keep them going in the greenhouse, but the majority of them I would like to take to the Yee, Yee farm because we don't have very many trees there. So why not grow a bunch of live oaks? at the farm.